What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Work Knife Balance. I'm pretty excited. I've had this knife for a little bit now. Um, this is the Kershaw Bell Air we're going to be diving into. I want to go ahead and say thank you before we get too far into this to anyone who's already liked and subscribed to our channel. If you haven't, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And then hit the little bell icon. That lets you know when we post new content so you can continue to stay updated on everything that is sharp, shiny, and fun. You can also head over to Instagram and follow us at WorkKnifeBalance939. It's a great way to connect with us. Let us know what you want to see, what you don't want to see. Send us a knife for review or something, um, and we'll take a look at it. If we post a video, we'll go ahead and send it back to you and then send you some swag like a sweet sticker and some other stuff. But without further Further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this knife right here. This is the Kershaw Bell Air. So this is from the Pass Around group that I'm a part of. Um, this one came through a little bit ago. We did an unboxing with the Bell Air and another knife that, but from Kershaw, an auto knife called the Kershaw Launch. Um, I really, really like this Bell Air knife. There's a couple things that I'm a little uh, finicky about, but they're just personal preference. Other than those personal preference uh, little things, this is a fantastic knife. So we'll go ahead and get started with some side-by-side -side comparisons, some measurements, all that kind of fun stuff, and then we'll move on to my thoughts and opinions about this knife here. All right. First off, we'll get it started. This is almost an exact 7-inch knife. We're looking at about 7 point, I don't know, 7.1, 7.15. Uh, blade length is just over three or sorry. Yeah, blade length is just over three inches cutting edge just under three inches I'll say 2.8 on the cutting edge uh, 2.8 2.9 and then 3.1 on the blade length there So we do have a really nice reverse tanto on this blade here, which I am becoming more and more a fan of as I start to fiddle and fiddle with more reverse tanto blades We'll give you some side-by-side -side comparisons. We've got the Kaiser Veritas right here. This was my production knife of the year for 2023. Uh, we'll also go ahead and pull out the another bar lock, the NAFS Lander 2 right here. So we've got a NAFS Lander 2 bar lock right there as well. Gives you something to look at. Uh, the NAFS Lander and the Kaiser Veritas are both a little bit larger in size. Let's see if we can get uh, two smaller knives in here. You're gonna go ahead and pull out the Rat 2. It's a little bit known for being a little bit smaller of a knife. And then we're gonna pull out um, my Paramour, Pena Paramour, also a small knife. Gives you some good EDC knives, some good small knives to compare it to as well. Uh, this knife is absolutely amazing, the Paramour. Um, and then we'll do a big knife, just your average, everyday big knife. We'll go out and pull these. <laughs> Spider Co. Para 2. So there's a big knife for you to compare it to. Um, you can see that it definitely is larger on the handle and blade, uh, and rightfully so because this is a big knife and this is not a big knife. So yeah. Uh, first thing that I felt when I got this out, one of the things was uh, this is a really nice bar lock. Um, I really like bar locks. I, well, I, I would say I used to really like bar locks, um, and so I had a lot of Benchmades. Um, Kunwu makes a really nice bar lock as well. I really like what they do. Kaiser has a sweet bar lock too. So there's some there's some really good knives, nice knives out there in the bar lock category. Um, Kershaw calls theirs the Dura Lock, um, but it is still just a bar lock. It actually looks like a Benchmade bar lock too. Um, just the Duralock there as well. One thing I will say is I know these are stronger springs. And uh, if these are stronger springs, I will say the original springs are probably too weak even for myself. And I like a more medium release. Um, so medium to strong spring or medium to strong detent. So if the original springs are much less than this, Definitely upgrade the springs if you get it, get stronger springs for them as well. And then uh, this is running on ceramic uh, ball bearings, which are not how it comes. It comes on steel ball bearings as well. So um, if that's the case, I would say definitely get yourself some sort of measuring tool or get one of the skiff measuring tools and then get some skiffs to throw in here because this runs absolutely amazing. Not a necessity. Um, I believe Lefty said, this is from the Lefty Passeron group, said that it ran smooth. He just doesn't like steel bearings. He likes ceramic bearings. So uh, he went ahead and put the skiffs in there before he put it through the pass around as well. 
Now the little, the nitty gritty, the things that, that, that bother me a little bit about this knife. Um, it does have a smaller, the ergos are good, but it does have a smaller handle. Um, I have an average hand, I wear a size large glove, um, and I, I cover the entire handle right here. I wish you would have had a little bit more in the purchase area to come up on this, so you had a little bit more room, and uh, or have somewhat of a, 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 a finger choil to move into for a choke up. It's, it's not a bad feel by any means, but you have essentially, you have essentially one, if you're holding it in hand, you have essentially one hand position. Initially in the unboxing, I was like, oh, you could choke up here. A couple times that I choked up here, it's just far too close to that blade. Um, I end up pinching myself quite a bit, so I don't recommend it by any means. So you have essentially one handhold if you're holding it in your hand like this. You can get in here and pinch grip. You can go ahead and put your finger on the top and do tip work if you need to, but as a, as a palm grab, a palm hold, you've got essentially one place to put your hand. Um, so I would have loved to have a little bit more purchase area on this to move the hand around a little bit, move the fingers around, and uh, maybe have a, like a choke up spot. I wasn't able to, um, but that's just me. Someone else with bigger or smaller hands may be able to find better holds. So that was it um, on that. And then one of the other things was this clip. I absolutely, <laughs> hate how this clip sticks up. I thought I would I thought it wouldn't bother me after a while, but every time I set it down and I see it sticking out past the scale or if it's there, it just aesthetically drives me insane. So, I would find an aftermarket clip if this was mine, something that sat down a little bit further. Uh, maybe you could get I don't know. Um with the two spots like that, maybe you could get like a lynch clip that fits it for any sort of two hold lynch knife or something like that. Maybe you can find something that works for it that would be down a little bit further, which would be kind of nice and cool. And then you stick with the made in the USA. A couple of the really, really cool things about this. Um, we didn't, I didn't know this initially in the unboxing and then we did reveal it, but this is a magna cut blade. Um, so that is absolutely fantastic. You know, this is gonna hold up for a really long time, has a really nice edge to it as well. And this is made in the USA. This is made in America. So not only was this one a designed in the USA, but this was designed, prototyped, quality controlled, manufactured all in the USA. Um, so that's a really cool um, piece to this. So you can get a USA Magna Cut blade, bar lock, under $200. I believe this comes in at right under $200 for $199. And uh, we will go ahead and put a link to this down below. These are typically 250 everywhere I've seen it you see 250 crossed out and then 199 for the price so I don't know if they will ever jump up to 250 but um, they have the original MSRP is 250 and then 199 is where I've seen it everywhere else so for under under 200 bucks you can get a magna cup blade bar lock aluminum scales made in America knife this is this is really really fantastic to do all of that I will say the only other Magna Cut blade that I have, bar lock under $200, is a Magna Cut Hogue Deca. And it doesn't come with aluminum scales. It doesn't have quite the same fit and feel to it. Um, it's fantastic. I really like it. But it has the FRN. And, uh, and it's a little bit flimsy and everything there. And so it's not quite 200 exactly. I believe they go anywhere from 130 to 160 or so, depending upon when you pick it up and all that kind of fun stuff. And with that in mind, uh, for an extra 70 to 40 to 70 bucks, you've got yourself a much firmer, sturdier, um, good feeling bar lock knife with a really nice bar lock and still Magna Cut blade for 200 bucks that's ridiculous that's absolutely ridiculous so i i i commend kershaw for doing that that is absolutely fantastic will i buy this knife probably not i have too many other knives that i want to buy but i'm really glad that i'm able to take a look at it I'm really glad i'm able to hold it and mess around with it for a little bit because this is something that I think if you're looking for a good made in the USA Magna Cut blade, but you don't want to spend 
600 bucks. You don't want to spend a thousand dollars on a custom. You don't even want to spend three hundred dollars on the next great cool thing. Um, you can get something that's probably flying under the radar and easily accessible for two hundred dollars, and is going to be really well done. And that's the Kershaw launch. No, sorry. Ah. It's going to be the Kershaw Bel Air. The launch was the other one. It's going to be the Kershaw Bel Air. So, yeah, not much left to say about this. Uh, I think it's a fantastic buy. I think it's a really good knife. Um, I really would love to encourage y'all to go take a look at this. But, yeah, if you want to pick one up, follow the link below. If not, no worries. We'll see you next time. TTFN.